today, in this video, we're going to see some cool tricks that we can do using the famous adjustment layers. You have no idea how useful they are. And obviously, they are very easy to use. An adjustment layer is basically an empty layer that you can put on the top of your videos and you can actually make it shorter or longer, however you need. You're gonna apply a lot of effects here in the adjustment layer. And these effects are gonna affect everything that is under the adjustment layer. This is actually saving you a lot of time because you don't need to put effects in each of your videos. You just put everything here on the top. Now to create an adjustment layer, you're gonna come here in this little paper here and you're gonna look for adjustment layer. Immediately it's going to appear this window where actually by default it's gonna give you all the settings that already your sequence has. So you just click OK and it's done. Now you're gonna pull the adjustment layer and gonna put it exactly on the top of your videos. And as I said before, you just make it longer to be exactly on the top of everything you wanna edit. The first trick we're gonna do with the adjustment layer is we're gonna put here a cropping that is gonna make a video look like a movie so we're gonna come to effects and we're gonna look for the effect crop it's over here and we're gonna pull it and put it in the adjustment layer now if we come to effect controls we can see on the bottom that we have here the crop effect we're not gonna play with the left or the right we're just gonna do the top and we're going to put 13 and then we're gonna go on the bottom and we're gonna do exactly the same 13 I mean this is an average you can put 15 14 you just try and look for exactly what you want now using an adjustment layer is gonna make your life easier because you can actually copy this adjustment layer and just put it over any video that you want and it's gonna make these lines you just just copying it you know you have the effect already here now other advantage is that if you come to the video and you want to move it like for example you want to put it a little higher or you want to put it lower where you can do it and you are just moving the video because the effect is here over is in the adjustment layer so amazing now we're gonna create another adjustment layer and we're gonna put it here we're gonna make it bigger and that's it I want to color correct our videos because they were filmed in lock so I think we need to put a little bit of contrast now whatever we do to this adjustment layer that we just created on the top is gonna affect everything below and we don't want the cropping here to be affected so easy we just put the cropping over and that's it, okay? Now we're gonna work with this adjustment layer, the one on the bottom. Let's come here to our workplaces and let's look for color. Now we're gonna come to the basic corrections. I just wanna add a little bit of contrast. There's nothing much to do because then we're gonna do color grading. So I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and the majority of the contrast is going to come from the curves. So I'm gonna make a little curve here. I like the S curves, that's the best for contrast. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here and I think our video is perfect now. I like it how it is. We're still gonna add some color grading, so I think that is it. Now, I want to add a color grading, but if we have footages with different cameras, the color correction that I just did is gonna be different for all of them. So that's why I did it in an adjustment layer and then for the other ones, I can use another adjustment layer. But the color grading, I want it for all my videos, so we're gonna create another adjustment layer just for the color grading. So we're gonna put it over here on the top why I'm putting it here because I have to move this one here the color correction is going for all these videos and I want the color grading to go over and cover all these and now the adjustment layer that we just created and put it in the middle that is going to have the color grading is going to affect the color correction and all our videos. Still we have on the top the cropping that is these lines here that makes it as a movie. This always we want it on the top because we don't want it to be affected by anything, okay? Now let's go to the center that it's an empty adjustment layer. We're going to do our color grading. Basically I'm gonna use a lot to make it easier. So we come to creative and I'm gonna look for the LUT. This is a LUT that I like a lot, and it's over here, and it's done. Now, I know that it's very strong, so I'm gonna put it in 77, because I already tried it before, and I know that this is the color I like. So 77 it is. Now we have our video all color corrected. It has a LUT, it's amazing. So we're gonna close this, and we're gonna come back to our workplace and we can actually see our video, beautiful. Now let's make a transition using adjustment layers. We're gonna take the adjustment layer, we're gonna put it on the top. I normally use, if you see I'm in the middle, I normally go five frames to the left and then I can cut this and I go to the middle again and then five frames to the right and then I cut the adjustment layer. Now, this is what I do because my video is 25 frames per second, if I'm not wrong. Now, if you're using more frames, like 60 frames per second, then I suggest you just to play with the transition. It could be maybe 10 frames in the right, 10 in the left, 
just practice, just experiment, you will find the spot, okay? So we're gonna add an effect here and the effect is called Offset. As you can see, there's a lot of offsets here and are under 100 transitions Mario Tech. It's because I gave away a pack of 100 transitions. I'm gonna leave you a link here on the top and also in the description with a link for a playlist actually because I gave away a lot of packs. You're gonna find a lot of things. Lots, resources, transitions, a lot of things. Presets, even for Lightroom, everything. So just click in the link and then you're gonna have fun, okay? So you're not gonna use these ones. These are the transitions that are already made. You're gonna come here under video effects, distort, offset. This is the effect we want to use. We're gonna put it exactly on the adjustment layer, okay? Now we have it here, so we can come to effect controls. And if we go on the bottom, we're gonna expand this so we can see it better. We can see that we have the effect here offset. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create a keyframe here. And we're gonna put it all the way to the left. Now we're gonna make this video and I want you to see the video, what is gonna happen when I start to move here up, you're gonna see it's moving to the right. We just keep going, keep going, keep going until we reach exactly there, it has to be perfect, okay? Now we're gonna take this keyframe and we're gonna move it all the way to the right. You can see that there is something weird here in the video. Don't worry, don't get scared. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. Again, we're gonna add another effect to our adjustment layer. We're gonna come to the effects and here we're gonna put a directional blur because we wanna make it more natural, something more like, something cool. So directional blur it is, we're gonna pull it and put it here. We come back to the effect controls and then in the bottom we can see that actually we have the directional blur. So what we're gonna do is nice that we are exactly in the center as you can see, exactly in the middle, in between the videos that we want the transition to be. So here we're gonna make 180, we're gonna put in the blur length and we're gonna create a keyframe. But there is a problem. As you can see, this blur is actually vertical and the video is moving to the sides. So we don't want the vertical blur. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here to direction and we're gonna put 90 degrees. That's what we want. And now it's fixed. Now why we created exactly in the center this point is because in the center, in between the videos, we want the blur to be the maximum, the top. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come a little bit to the left and we're gonna put zero. This is gonna create another keyframe here. So we're gonna pull it all the way to the beginning. Now we move to the right and we do exactly the same. We put zero, enter, and we move all the way to the right. What we're doing is that the transition is gonna start with zero blur and as soon as it starts to move to the center, it goes with more and more blur until it reaches the center, which is the maximum, 180. And then when it passes, again, it goes towards zero, as you can see. And now we have our transition done, but my suggestion, and this is a tip, when you go to the transition, go in the center exactly, click on the adjustment layer and press M. It's gonna create a mark, as you can see here, it's a mark. Why am I doing this? Because if you have another video and you wanna make this transition there, you're just gonna pull it there. And as soon as you get to the center, look, back. It just hooked there because it has the mark. It's hooking there, exactly there. So that is pretty cool. Now, before we finish, what we can do also is we open a little bit everything we did. Remember that this layer on the top has the lines that we wanted. We can actually press Alt and holding Alt, we just pull it and what we're doing is copying exactly the same adjustment layer and then we can just make it smaller there and that's it. If you see, we have now also the bars there. That's what I was telling you, adjustment layers are making our life easier and now this is what we got with this transition. Guys, if you like this video, you know what to do and I'll see you next week.